Okay, so I went ahead and uploaded this file, and uh, basically, you're just going to take the pressure treated uh, seal plates that I got, select them uh, using the select tool. Um, so, select them. Uh, move, the move command, the letter M, or just click right here, letter M, and then click, don't click on the material, click off of the material, like where my cursor is at, and then slide it over. Uh, 25 feet and it'll line up perfectly in fact all of these will do the same so just do the same repeat the same process 25 feet and let's just say um, you know your apostrophe isn't working well slide it on the green axis or the red axis and get as close to 25 feet as possible And that's it. Make sure, uh, again, make sure you're on the green and the red axis when you do this, and it will line up perfect. So now we are building on top of the foundation. So make sure you get a good picture of all this. Uh, it's probably a good one and that way you can see the bolt um, and the pressure treated plate uh, the reason why we have pressure treated plates is because uh, the chemicals uh, as you'll notice in the video that Matt says uh, doesn't allow water to penetrate the material which is great because Anytime water can penetrate the wood, that's that's a chance for wood to be uh, to rot. And not only that, but the concrete and the wood itself, without the chemicals, will have a reaction towards each other, and the wood will rot. And that's why we have pressure treated steel plates. It's pressure treated, so the chemicals can get inside every single fiber of this uh, wood and so that doesn't happen and there you have it uh, that's the video uh, save your file and uh, again you know get a good get a good picture of it um, you know this is that's actually probably a better shot than what I originally downloaded uh, transparent background export as PNG and here we go pressure treated steel plate say yes i'll rewrite over that let me swap this out replace image there we go oh yeah much better and you can label this anchor bolt um if you want to so in fact, let's do that. Oh, what happened to my? Oh, okay. There it is. Change the order, bring the front. Control C, Control V, and let's do this.
here we go. So that's great. Um, you know, something like that will work very well. Um, oh, let's send this to the back. So change the order. Send it back. There we go. Oh, let me delete that. I don't know what that is. Delete. And there you have it. So your last uh, slide should look like that. This other slide should look like this. Uh, but obviously with more information. Uh, and that's